It is time. This summer at Disneyland Paris, we're taking over the entire park with the Lion King and Jungle Festival. This moment will capture the elements of two of our classic movies, The Jungle Book and The Lion King. And we take those elements and we spread them throughout the park so that wherever you turn, wherever you go, you will be immersed in the energy and the feel and the joy and the color of, the, of those movies. I've been working on The Lion King for two years. This is a delicate job because the movie has been such a hit throughout the ages. And we did not want it to just be the same retelling, the same feel, the same energy. We, we needed it to have its own statements. Well, then you bring in great people. You know, Brad Kay coming in with our scenic world. He came with an idea of multiple drums, massive layers, so the performance actually takes place on a giant drum. We take the choreography, the dance, but then we also add an, an element of acrobatics you know, a circuit type quality. Our goal is that as this story moves forward, it comes from the telling led by Rafiki to be that sense of family, that sense of heart, that sense of journey that we all take in our own way, in our own lives every day. When we approached the costuming of The Lion King, the show, we looked at Paris as our backyard, at the whole style and, and the feel of costume and design. And we go, okay, why wouldn't we let that somehow infuse our story? The shirts that are coming out, the hats, the cups, all of the merchandise is actually based on the designs and the look and the feel of our version of The Lion King. We have a casting department led by Cathy Fremont. They had to find the right talent, but boy, people wanted to be a part of this. And sure enough, we discover that there we have performers who've played the, the show The Lion King before, either in the West End or on Broadway, because they want to be a part of this version. All of a sudden, we've got some of the best voices that I've experienced in theme park history. It's pretty powerful. Surprises like that that we believe will keep a two-year-old riveted to the seat and will keep the adult wanting to stay there long after the show ends. So the Jungle Book Giant is a huge component to the Lion King and Jungle Festival. This show is a colossal, never before seen voyage of discovery through the Indian jungle. It's a musical extravaganza that brings the Jungle Book Jive to life in a whole new way. One of our first components are these beautiful, massive animals that come in to the central plaza. Their color schemes are just gorgeous. We really want to immerse our guests in a celebration of India and the Jungle Book. To accomplish this, uh, we sent an entire team to India to be inspired by the colors, the costumes, the people, the, the culture, the music, the rhythms. In the beginning of our story, there will be drummers that begin to feel like something is about to happen. They will invite guests to come off of the street, out of the curbs, and, and play with the drumming and the rhythm. When you're surrounded by that immersive music, it just becomes so powerful, and you immediately become part of the story. In Adventureland, our guests will line up with Timon and Pumba for an interactive lesson of Timon's Matter Dance. Together they bring the dancers in, they bring the guests in, and before you know it, everyone's dancing and celebrating together in Timon Dance. It's fun. This is an African-inspired village, pulsating with drum beats and interactive musical moments dedicated to the Lion King and Jungle Book. So when you put it all together from the music to the characters to the merchandise, you're surrounded in the world of the Lion King and Jungle Festival. So get ready to answer the call of the wild with epic dance. These new colors. Song, drums, rhythm. Have fun with the new king ring. You've got Nala, you've got Simba, Mufasa, Scar. As well as Mickey and his friends. And never ever seen before. 